Have you ever had to cut a walk short because of sudden pain in your feet, in your knees, your hips or your lower back? Keep watching and I will show you how to warm up your joints so you can enjoy your walk pain free. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva Venes of painfreeforlifepilaris.com located in San Diego, California. Here on my YouTube channel, I share weekly content on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility. In today's video, I would like to show you five of my favorite stretches that you should do before each and every walk that you take. Uh, also, I will highlight some of the most common mistakes that you could be making and uh, at the end of the video, I'll tell you more about my on-demand online stretching and mobility home program. So stay with me till the very end. First exercise, when we walk, our feet carry us all the way along. So we better warm up our feet and our ankles. So just take a seat, cross your right foot over your left knee, hold your ankle, hold your lower leg nice and stable. Hold on to the top of your foot. This is going to be an assisted ankle and foot mobility exercise. You just want to circle your foot around as you hold on to the forefoot. Make sure that you get a nice opening, a nice stretch between the top of the foot and the lower leg. So just hold on to the top of your foot and pull it away from your shin, from your lower leg. You should feel a nice delicious stretch going on the top of the foot, the ankle, all the way up to just below the knee. Then let's reverse that. Push the top of the feet, foot up towards your shin and that will increase your ankle mobility and it will also give you a stretch in the lower part of your calf. Let's do this again. So we're just going to circle that foot around, make sure your ankle is moving properly, and then reverse your foot circle, go the other way. I see feet and ankles all day long and you wouldn't believe how many people have extremely stiff feet, so be sure to warm up your ankles. And then just pull the top of the foot away from the lower leg, elongating the anterior tibialis and reverse it by pushing the top of the foot towards the shin to elongate the lower part of your calf where so many people are stiff. And of course you could use you could do this without the use of your hand. Mm, that's even a little bit more challenging because you're using your own uh, strength and uh, you're just relying on your own mobility. So just circle that foot around, go a couple of times in each direction, and then point and flex the foot as you're keeping your lower leg stable. This pointing and flexing is also a really important part of our gait, our walking. So just be sure that when you walk, you first heel strike and then push off of the ball of the foot. Your knees and your ankles will be very grateful for that. Now, next exercise is what I call the windshield wiper. So just bring your feet wider than hip distance apart, sit up nice and tall, be sure you're not slumping and drop your knees all the way over to the side. You should feel a nice stretch on the outside of your thigh and let's go the other way. We are increasing internal hip rotation here, which is very important when we take a step forward as we put weight on our leg, that hip needs to internally rotate. So as you walk, you do this thousands of times, be sure that your hips are ready for the internal rotation. It's also really great for your lower back. You're mobilizing your lower back as you're dropping your knees side to side. Um, and next thing, we are getting into a child pose like position. So you're on your hands and on your knees with your big toes touching, knees are apart and then just push your hips back as far towards your heels as you can. This is not a child pose stretch. This is more of just warming up the hip joints for a walk. So you don't have to hold it long. Just simply push your hips back towards your heels. Feel your hips flex. 
elongate the lower back, elongate the thoracic spine. Uh, let's do this a couple more times. Hip flexion, hip extension are a very important component of our gait cycle, so we better get really good at it, just make your hips mm, do this movement as efficiently as you can. And then let's do a cat and cow because it's very important to mobilize the spine and the hips before you go out on a walk. And so just go ahead and round your back, hollow out your stomach, look down towards your navel. And then extend the spine, draw the shoulder blades down on your back. Let's do this a few more times. And just take your spine through a full range of motion. As you tuck the pelvis under, lift the spine. As you untuck the pelvis, elongate the spine. Let's do this, guys, one more time. And because it's super important to have good thoracic mobility when you walk, let's do a so-called thread the needle stretch. So you're going to insert that left arm under the right shoulder and just rest your cheek, rest your head on your yoga mat, reaching nice and far through the fingertips. This will mobilize the, the joints in between your neck and your lower back. So when you walk, your ribcage will be able to rotate efficiently. Now right arm inserts under the left shoulder. And let's repeat this one more time. The way our bodies are designed, guys, is when you take a step forward, your ribcage rotates one way and the pelvis rotates another way. So with these rotational movements, we are ensuring that we can turn our ribcage efficiently. Okay, really good. Once you do these exercises, they shouldn't take more than three, four, five minutes. You will be ready for your walk. If you enjoyed these exercises and you would like a complete protocol on how to mobilize your joints, how to stretch your uh, tight muscles, you need to visit my website at www.painfreeforlifepilaris.com and click on the shop tab. I have a number of on-demand online home routines that you can do at the comfort of your own home whenever you feel the need um, for stretching and mobility. I have a wonderful program that has more than 40 healing corrective exercises that you can do safely as I said in the comfort of your own home at your own time. Um, if you would like more personalized guidance and you would like to work with me, um, feel free to reach out to, to me through my website, schedule a free 15 minute phone consultation so we can get things moving and it, make sure that you stay and watch the next video. Also for more great tips on how to eliminate chronic pain in the body without the use of drugs and surgeries and how to increase your strength, flexibility and mobility, uh, go back to my YouTube homepage and check out my playlist. Thank you for joining me today.